Motion is a big part of our daily life. On average, we make 7,000 steps per day. We know that increased physical activity leads to better health and fitness, but sometimes extensive forces acting on our bodies can lead to injuries, which may be difficult to heal and hinder normal activities. Cartilage covers the surface of joints, acting as a shock absorber and allowing bones to slide over one another. When this linkage gets damaged, the regenerative process is very difficult and often requires advanced stem cell therapies and biocompatible scaffolds. In their communication in advanced materials, Professor Ao Yingfang from the Peking University Third Hospital, Chen Haifeng from Peking University, and their co-workers prepare a structurally and functionally optimized 3D printed silk fibroin gelatin scaffold for in vitro and in vivo cartilage repair. 3D printing was used to generate scaffolds with a uniform pore size of 350 micrometers to maximize cell proliferation. Gelatin, as a partial derivative of collagen, allows good biocompatibility and enhanced cell adhesion. On its own, however, it does not have the necessary mechanical strength to endure a large stress. To overcome this, the authors introduced silk fibroin into the structural matrix. By controlling the beta sheet content through ethanol treatment, the mechanical properties and degradation rates could be significantly improved. Jenny pin was then added to crosslink amino groups from different collagen chains, resulting in further improvement. With the proper composition selected, the authors conjugated a proven bone marrow stem cells affinity peptide E7 onto the silk fibroin gelatin scaffold to promote homing of the bone marrow stem cells, both in vitro and in vivo. In vitro studies revealed that, compared with the silk fibroin gelatin SFG scaffold, the peptide conjugated scaffolds SFG E7 had a higher recruitment capacity for the bone marrow stem cells, as assessed by measuring the effluent amount of cells after 12 and 24 hours of culturing. SFG E7 scaffolds also had a higher chondrogenic capacity than SFG scaffolds, as evidenced by more hydroxyproline and glycosaminoglycan production and collagen type 2 expression in vitro. The in vivo results indicated that the SFG group had a better repair effect than the microfracture MF control group. Furthermore, neocartilage in the SFG E7 group was more similar to the normal cartilage than the SFG group through a series of assessments, including gross observation, magnetic resonance imaging, histology, scanning electron microscopy, and biomechanics evaluation. To find out more, please visit the Advanced Materials homepage.